Only on 10 News, a thief swipes a surfboard as a family sleeps inside. 10 News reporter Michael Chen reveals the owner's plea to get the back the board that he's so emotionally bonded to. Late July, after 3.30 in the morning, a surveillance camera captures an intruder inside this backyard in Carlsbad right after hopping a five-foot fence. Like a pretty quick executed plan, like hopped over the fence straight to the surfboard area. As a family sleeps soundly inside, the burglar in board shorts looks around for a second, but quickly zeroes in on a surfboard. He grabs it and takes off, all in about a minute. Kind of mad. The $500 surfboard belonged to Devin Wolf. I just love to surf. Whose heart sank when he tried to go surfing and discovered his surfboard gone. The teen spent a year working various jobs to save for the Henson surfboard. I felt like I had to do so much to get that board, and he just got to pick it up and walk away with it. The thief also walked away with a piece of Wolf's heart, the surfboard, the same model that belonged to his old surf instructor. And he taught me how to surf, and he had that board, and he would let me ride his board sometimes, so I wanted to, like, have the same board to ride. Wolf rode the surfboard for six months, improving rapidly. He was eyeing his first competitions, his hopes now quickly sinking. I'm basically swimming. <laughs> Wolf tonight making an appeal for tips in hopes of getting back his surfboard. It sucks. That's like someone taking away like an artist's like pencils. It's like, what? Why? Michael Chen, 10 News. Well, the burglary took place on Columbine Drive and the surfboard stands about five feet, nine inches tall. If you have any information on the case, call Carlsbad Police.